Are you one of the many business owners who wonder why growing your business seems to be very difficult? You ask yourself, why won't my business grow? Why am I having such a hard time in trying to expand my operations? In this video, I discuss one factor that significantly impacts on how much and how fast your business grows and how you can overcome this limitation. I'll be right back. Welcome back. My name is Raymond Huan, and if you own a business, you're interested in business, or you wish to learn the tips and tricks of how to operate a business better, I encourage you to click on the subscribe button that you see on the video right now. There are many reasons why businesses won't grow, or why your business won't grow. Some of the more obvious factors that can impact the growth and profitability of your business may include things like the nature of the market and where you do business, how big your customer base is, what your competition is like, the nature of the industry and where your business is situated. Is your business industry regulated or not? And of course, the availability of resources. However, from my experience in working with businesses across a range of industries, one of the most significant factors that can influence the size and the probability of a business being successful is the business acumen and managerial skills of the people in the business itself. This especially applies to the business owners themselves. That's right, I'm talking about you, the business owner and the stakeholder of your business. Many studies done claim that management skills are the most significant business constraint. In the early stages of a small business, the business owner oversees all aspects of the business operations itself. Areas like operation, production, marketing, finance, logistics, and sales. And the business is usually carried out by the owner or by a very small team of staff members. And when the tasks grow too much for one person to manage in a team, the small business owner usually hires more people and delegates more work out. The small business owner still makes most of the decisions for the company. And therein lies the constraint. As the business grows and the operations grow as well with it in size, it also grows in complexity. And there is only so much that you, the business owner, and the stakeholder can handle. You will need to have enough time, the right resources, and the suitable skills to effectively manage and maintain a growing business. The reality is the business owner alone cannot manage all these areas at one time. And this is why the single most significant constraint of any small business is the capacity of the business owner. That's right, your business can grow no bigger than what you can effectively manage. And that is the way it is. The good news is that there are ways to overcome this particular limitation. Firstly, try investing in yourself. Increase your capacity by investing in yourself. Become a lifelong le learner. Read regularly. Talk to people smarter than you. Listen to people. Listen to your team. And learn from your experiences and mistakes. Learn from other people's experiences and mistakes. A new skill set learned by you allows you to do more than what you could have done if you did not have that skill. You become more aware of what is required to grow and manage a business. You will be aware of your own limitations and then you will realize that in order to get the job done, you would need to get other people involved in the process. Delegate. Have you ever heard the phrase, be good at something, delegate the rest? Delegating expands your capabilities and gives you time to focus on things that matter. Delegation is not easy. It is difficult to pass on a task with the confidence of it being done well. But you need to understand that communication is one of the key factors why tasks are not done properly to the standards that you require. Some business owners I know find properly communicating the requirements of a job challenging and then they choose to either do it themselves to make it easier or they hire a family member or a very close friend. Using those relations, they can minimize the communication challenges that come with passing a task on. There are both advantages and disadvantages of bringing in members of your family or close friends into the business, but that is a whole new topic to be discussed and explored in the future. 
Outsourcing allows you to concentrate on what you do best, to be more flexible, and to manage growth effectively. It also allows your business to gain access to the outside expertise and technologies, while also building and empowering your team. While this is good for a period of time, as your business continues to grow, you may need to take some of these outsourced tasks in-house, as it will give you greater control on the processing and the final output of the job at hand. Seek help. Find someone who has the business experience to work with you on your business. All of the successful businesses whom I know have a team of experienced professionals working with them, whom they can consult on with on a regular basis. If you believe that you can do better having such a group of people around you, find them. Find a business mentor or coach to start the process off. I have worked with businesses that grew from 80,000 per year in turnover to 700,000 in four years. Another business whom I'm working with grew from 30,000 per year to over 3 million in just a few years. So I know how the right business coach for your business can have a positive impact to your business. Go and find your team and surround yourself with these people. If you're interested to know more about what a business has to go through when facing exponential growth, you can download the first chapter of the book from 20K to 2 million in two years absolutely free by visiting my website shown to you right now. The chapter talks about the differences between a good and a great business and puts out questions that make you consider how you can turn your business from good to great. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to catch up with you again very soon.